What's going on, everybody? So today I wanted to talk about compatibility. Uh, compatibility is everything when it comes to games. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I a couple weeks ago or a week or two ago, I made a, a video about a uh, combat mission, Red Thunder, which is a Battlefront.com game that was brought over to Steam, right, with the help of Matrix Games and Slytherin. And I was so looking forward to this game, but I couldn't play it. The GUI, uh, the graphical user interface just didn't pop up, right? I, I, I didn't even see, like, parts of this screen, right? They just like had inverted colors it was just really weird i'll put a description uh if you want to go check that out in in the, a link in the description so reason why this happens is compatibility right so the first thing developers do when they're making games is they want they first see right what is everybody pl playing their hardware on right what's the majority of uh hardware right that games are running on right and I bring this up here, Steam Hardware and Software Survey, right? So as you can see here, nearly 70%, 7 out of 10 gamers are running Intel CPUs. So if I was a game developer, right, and, you know, like every other game developer, they're going to be like, all right, so 7 out of 10 uh, gamers are running Intel CPU. Number one thing we got to do is make sure our game runs on Intel CPUs, right? The next thing they'll check is what, you know, what version, you know, the 4th gen, 5th, 6th, 7th gen of Intel chips. That'll probably be their second thing, right, after CPU. The next most important thing is graphics card, right? So as you can see here, nearly 80% of all video cards are NVIDIA. Now, I have an AMD CPU, so I'm in that 30% of gamers. It's not a lot. I'm in that 30%. And then for the graphics cards, I'm in the 15% margin. So this is why pretty much everybody has played the game, Combat Mission, Red and Thunder, pretty much had no problem. Because those people are part of that 80%. The game is working on the video uh, graphics cards probably seamlessly. I'm in that 15% of people that are having issues. Now, I'm sure there are things uh, that I can do. There have been some comments that people says if you go back a driver a version, it'll, it'll most likely run or it'll run. Uh, I, I haven't done that. Uh, I have to find the driver. I have to install. I don't want to go through all that. And I, and I like being on the latest drivers. So... I just wanted to point this out when you're buying your next video card or your next CPU. Always go to this because this is what developers are looking at. And they're saying, all right, what are the most popular platforms? And so if you're looking to buy a VR headset, 42% are using the Oculus Quest 2. If you want the best gaming experience, that's where it's going to be at. If you want the best gaming experience... Well, 70% are running Intel. Guarantee you, developers are focusing on that. And <laughs> for video cards, nearly 80% are running NVIDIA. If you want the best experience, that's where it's going to be at. So why did I buy AMD? Well, AMD is a big proponent, big proponent uh, for open source, for Linux, right? Uh, they make their, uh, a lot, I believe, a lot of their drivers. They work with the Linux community uh often to make sure that their those that their hardware runs better on Linux than Intel does. Right? Intel doesn't really and Nvidia doesn't really work with the Linux community as AMD does. So that's why I chose AMD. Uh it's your preference. If games are more of your priority, then yeah, definitely go Intel and Nvidia. If you want a like a bit of both Right, you want to be that Linux guy, but you also want to do gaming. You kind of do what I do, which is AMD and uh, AMD for uh, graphics and CPU. So, I just wanted to put that out there, guys. I'll put a link to this Steam hardware and software survey, so you can guys can get a uh, can take a look at it. Uh, some very interesting things here, you know, as you can see here, you find out a lot of information about. Uh, <laughs> what people are using, right? The OS version right here, 59% are using Windows 10. 
Uh, RAM wise, most people are using 16 gigs. That's my son. Just to give you a heads up. <laughs> uh, eight gigabytes of video RAM, 27% of people are using. So very interesting stuff here. To, if you guys want to take it out, uh, take a look at it. Believe it or not, this is one of the most. This one and the uh, 3060 are the one of the most popular graphics cards that people are using. Surprising. All right, just wanted to put that video out there, uh, just explaining what happened with my combat mission and to help with your future pur purchases. All right, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Catch the next one. See you then.